Oh, good evening, it's uh, Charlie ZL2 CTM. Just so I thought I would do a, uh, a quick update video on how we're going with the, the power amplifier. Um, in the last video, we saw some of the ideas of uh, what I was thinking about doing. Uh, it was going to be a three stage power amp uh, with a driver and what I'm just notionally calling a low power and the high power portions of the three stage amplifier. Hoping to get around uh, 20 watts output if I could, that'd be nice. Um, using a, a BD139 for the driver, uh, in this particular case, which we'll go over in a sec, um, I ended up just using out of the junk box a, a 2N3053 uh, and then the two BD139s and a push pull, uh, then feeding into the two uh, MRF644s. Um, so that's what I was thinking about doing uh, on that last video. Um, and then since then, I've converted that circuit uh, and milled it. So basically, took the circuit, um, did a, uh, a CAD uh, drawing for that to convert the uh, the circuit into uh, a series of tracks and then used um, a very affordable uh, Chinese CNC machine that I got off Alibaba. Um, it was AliExpress, one of the two. Um, certainly did not pay a lot of money, so you get what you pay for. So it's not perfect, as you can see here, with the he cutting head moving in this direction, it's slightly thinner than coming in the other direction. But honestly, uh, I cannot complain for uh, the price I, uh, I paid. And I must admit what I have not done, which potentially would clean this up, is I haven't played around with things like um, the rotational speed of the cutting head, um, the speed in which that cutting head moves across the board. So those are settings that I do want to have a play with in the future, which could potentially um, uh, clean up the quality for the board. But like I say, for the moment, um, I'm more than happy. So you can see over here uh, we've got the uh, the 2N3053 and the driver uh, with a 40B pad at the moment just for testing uh, coming in. The yellow is coming from the SIGGEN, that's providing our drive into the BD, uh, say again the 2N3053, uh, the output of which uh, is into that first uh, transformer there. The uh, You would have realised, or not realised, recalled that, let's go back here again, that first transformer uh, was going to have bias, so it's a 4 to 1 um, it's going to have some bias being applied to the base uh, of the BD139s and that's what you can see there with the orange at this stage um, this side has been lifted because I don't want to provide uh, when I had the two 1 to 3 nines which are here which were here and here I uh, didn't want to at this stage for testing this circuit to have any bias on those so that's been lifted and the same two for the MRF 644s same configuration there. This side's providing the bias for the two MRFs, and then this pad over here comes from VCC through the RFC, and that's providing VCC back through to the collectors of the, the BD139, or the two BD139s. Anyway, so um, we'll look at these next two stages in a future video. Um, just got some uh, power and diodes there just um, thermically sitting on top of the MRF 644s so that's part of the bias network for that uh, if all goes well then as these um, temperature rises then um, that will regulate how much current is flowing in to try and do some, some thermal compensation uh, and then it's output transformer again a 4 to 1 just out of the junk box um, it's got the copper tubes through here uh, and we'll cover that in a later video so it's one single copper tube out with the VCC going uh, through the RFC and then uh, four turns running through. So what I am doing here I'm just going to run through and we'll look on the o, o scope um, this circuit here. Uh, before we do so we'll just look at uh, what the numbers turned out for that. So um, in line with what I've done in, in previous circuits uh, just uh, just assign a beta of 100, which is about right for the for the 3053. Um, I've set beta RE because I've got a fully bypassed RE here uh, or large RE um, to be 55 ohms, um, and then noting that um, little RE is 26 millivolts um, over IE, we can solve uh, for IE, which turns out to be around 47 milliamps. Um, same theory as before setting the emitter voltage to be uh, a tenth VCC uh, and then we can work out what the emitter resistor is going to be 
it turns out to be 27 ohms um, exactly the same theory as we've seen before for the two voltage divider uh, resistors R1 and R2 um, they turned out to be for R2 the lower one 417 ohms which I just used 390 as the nearest standard value and then for R1 uh, turned out to be 2272 so just using a, a 2.2k um, the bypass resistor so again capacitor at this stage and the coupling capacitor coming in I've just set notionally um, at 100 nanofarads um, and that's what you can see down here so the coupling capacitor bringing in our RF which is this one here 100 nanofarads and then our bypass one there um, right so I think uh, what we'll do now so we'll just uh, fire up the oscope and uh, we'll see how we go. So the input uh, is coming in through there. I'll grab just that earth there. The output goes across that load. So just recapping what I've done. Um, in order to present the correct impedance to the load of this 3053, uh, that transform is expecting to see on the BD139 stage when these are two are in circuit, like so, uh, around 3 ohms. So I've uh, just got two 5.6 ohm resistors in parallel, so it's uh, it's not quite, but it's close enough to that sort of 3 ohms. So that 3 ohms now being transformed back um, and should be presenting to the collector uh, of this transistor around 200 ohms. So what we can do now is we can um, turn on the uh, oscope and the so channel 2 is our input, uh, so the input's uh, roughly uh, 0.18 volts, and then if we go to our output, uh, channel 2, let's say again channel 1, uh, we can see there we're getting about 0.5 volts per division, and we're getting uh, 2.5 volts. So 20 log 2.5 over 0.18 volts gives us around 23 dB. So um, I'm quite happy with that at this stage of the game and uh, we will use that to feed into uh, the two BD139 push pulls and um, we'll see how that works. So that will, uh, these two uh, 139s, you can see there's a, a triangle of pads there, one, two, three, and for the second one over here, and they basically sit in that configuration. Um, and uh, yeah, and then the, the, we'll set the uh, the bias. I'm going to run for about um, 50 milliamps on those, but we'll save that for the next video. So this stage of the game, I'm, I'm quite happy with that that driver. Um, I'm not going to tweet it anymore um, at this stage, and um, we'll just hook up the second second stage again uh, in terms of its load. Um, this turns ratio here, I'd set for. Uh, and n equals 1, so um, it's expecting to see uh, around um, well, 3 ohms on this side, so what I'll do again is I'll lift the output of that transformer which feeds into the, the MRF 644s, I'll lift those two and then similar to here solder across um, this uh, resistor pair here to present the right impedance for those two BD139s and um, uh, we will repeat uh, the process and then we'll move forward and we'll do um, the third stage after that. So I might just leave it there. Um, I won't go on anymore. I'll push this up and then hopefully over the next few days we'll get a chance to do some more work. Um, I've got another couple of business trips coming up which is going to take me away so apologies for that. But uh, I thought I'd just sort of put this video out just to uh, to sort of see how, or to provide a bit of an update on how that sort of CNC worked, CNC machine worked, um, and then as we sort of move forward to uh, trying to get this amplifier to work. Um, I don't know if anybody else has got one of these little machines or is thinking about it, but um, if you check that sort of AliExpress, um, you will see them, and uh, they really are not a lot of money at all. Um, this is the first board I've actually ever made out of it, so um, I've sort of got a lot to learn, but uh, really, um, for a very little outlay, you can sort of start to make um, some circuits. 
Um, hmm, so there you go. Won't ramble on anymore. Uh, onwards and upwards, 73s. And uh, we will see you on the next video when uh, hopefully we have this second stage working. Until then, 73s. Cheers.